All right, what's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to do a quick comparison of the Go High Level Communities feature and School.com. So you can determine which one is best for your business. You honestly can't go wrong with either. They're both awesome. Uh, and, and I highly recommend that you set up a community in your business. Uh, you know, I'm, I've been a big fan of like Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, et cetera, for a long time. Uh, but I am just I'm moving into more of these private communities. Uh, because you just you have more control, there's more uh, functionality, there's a lot more things you can do with it. Uh, one of my favorite features of both of these, uh, Go High Level Communities and School.com, is the ability to add courses and universities within the community platform. I just I think that's so freaking powerful. So we're going to get into that. Uh, but at the end of the day, whichever one you decide to go with, I, I highly encourage you to start a community. It is a fantastic way to generate leads, but also convert leads into clients uh, and, and customers, et cetera. So really, really powerful stuff. Uh, it's an awesome asset to have in your business. All right. So uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. Let me get that set up here while I'm doing that. Just so you guys know, if you don't mind, uh, if you want to support the channel and uh, you know, if you find this video helpful, I will have affiliate links for both go high level and school.com in the description. I would greatly appreciate it if you go through those links. That would help the channel a lot. Uh, and you get a two-week free trial to each. Now, uh, before I dive into this too, I will say, uh, like, I'm not going to go too much into Go High Level Communities. I am going to show you the community that I have set up. But if you want to know how to actually create a community and, and set yours up inside of Go High Level, I will have a different tutorial in the description for that. All right. Now, uh, here's the thing. I'm I'm still sticking with Go High Level Communities, and there's a number of different reasons for that. Number one, uh, obviously, Go High Level has so much more functionality, so many more things that you can do than School.com. School.com is primarily the community classroom. You do have the calendar here and stuff like that. But, uh, um, you know, there's just so much more functionality for a very similar cost. Uh, Go High Level is $97 a month to start. School.com is $99 per month. And if we can get something really similar to school.com, I would just prefer go high level. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that is the right uh, setup for you. School.com, you know, is still really popular and there are some advantages, which is what we're going to cover in this video. So it's a very similar layout. Uh, you know, the, the format, uh, like the dashboard is a little bit different. Like if we compare the dashboard on school.com versus the community here, obviously things are organized in a different way. But, you know, it's, they're, they're both very easy to navigate. You'll see here, I can add channels over here on the left-hand side. I can make posts. You know, I've got discussion. Here are the courses. Uh, I think this is just awesome, uh, an awesome functionality with both of these tools. Uh, if we click on classroom right here, you can set up courses and stuff and add all of your modules. You know, you can do video, you can do text modules, whatever you want. Uh, I just think combining community with, uh, with training is so, so powerful. Um, the other cool thing too, is that you can add links to your uh, to the dashboard of uh, your your community. So over here on the right hand side, you know I've got the description and all that stuff. That's pretty basic stuff. But over here I've got links to certain uh, other steps within my funnel, right? If they want to get this master class, if they want to book a coaching call, like you could put these links right here that make it very easy for your community members to take the next step in your funnel, book a call, etc. Right. Same thing with. Uh, school.com over here, uh, if we go to settings and then click on links, I can add a link here. So we'll just do a test link. We'll use Google. All right, Google.com. Um, members only can see it. All right, so we'll click add. If we back out here and then we probably need to do a refresh here. It should pop up right there. Yep, there it is. All right, so people can very easily click these links in and go to the next step in your funnel, piece of content, whatever. Uh, now, one of the other reasons that I'm sticking with Go High Level Communities is because I already have my uh, courses set up, like all the videos and everything are already inside of Go High Level. It's another thing that you know we're able to do with Go High Level is uh, setting up courses right here. So if I go to products, um, I already have my entire members area set up with all the training and stuff. So is it worth it for me to move all those videos over to school.com and plus pay another $99 a month? For me, it's not. But again, it's not necessarily the case. That might not be the case for you. You know, maybe you're starting from scratch. This could, you know, school.com might make more sense. Um, again, the other, another advantage though, is that with Go High Level, we have all these workflows and automations, follow-up sequences. We can do email and texting and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, with, with school.com, they do send like, um, like a weekly, 
uh, what is it like a digest or whatever of all the content and everything that's happened within the community, but there's no like specific follow-up email sequence that you can create with inside of a school.com. So that's one of the limitations, but still a great platform. Uh, so we have community here. You can, you know, do posts. All right. That's pretty basic stuff. Classroom. All right. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up courses in here. Uh, I will say, so, you know, give it a name, description, you know, put uh, uh, the, the image there. And if we go in here, you know, it's pretty easy to like, you can create different sets here, like uh, categories, and then you can add your modules into each category. So we just click on the three dots here, edit the course. If you want, I just did a test course here. You can add a set, which is basically the category, uh, add module. Uh, and then within each uh, category here, we can add specific modules, right? Module in set there, right? So, and then we go in here, click on edit, you can add your video, uh, either be, you know, uh, a link here. Um, you can also embed uh, videos as well, which is what I would need to do. But um, you just paste in the embed code right there and click save and you're good to go. So you can add video content or you can just do regular text content, etc. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty easy to set up uh, a university and set up courses inside. Now, now here's uh, what I would say is one of the major advantages of school.com is the amount of traffic that school.com is getting right now and the fact that um, they organize all of the communities that you are a member of within the school.com ecosystem shows up in the drop down right here so this is really really powerful and definitely a disadvantage of the go high level community feature right now i would imagine at some point this will be uh, added to the go high level community feature where anybody within that ecosystem, we'll be able to click a drop down and see all of the communities that they are part of. The disadvantage of this is people forgetting about your community, right? So if I go to school.com, I know that all of the communities, even if I've forgotten one of them, uh, they're gonna show up in my drop down. I don't, I don't have to go searching for it in my email or anything like that. Like, uh, so the fact that school.com has so many users already is a very big advantage uh, for the platform. Uh, now, the way I'm getting around this and that I, I'm dealing it with it within uh, my Go High Level community is I'm just adding a button. You can just do a hyperlink, whatever, to every single follow up email in your sequence. Um, I just added a button at the bottom of each email that says log into the MWC Infinite Banking community. That's it. So, uh, it, you know, for me, that's uh, it's a it's a minor thing. I, you know, I, I definitely look forward to the update where the communities are organized uh, within the Go High Level platform there but it's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, but it is important to know that that is a very big advantage of school.com. Uh, the other thing too is uh, calendars. And again, I imagine that this is going to be added to the Go High Level uh, community feature at some point. Uh, we don't, you can see we don't have that right now. But you know, again, a workaround for me is I'm just, I, I'll just add a channel called live training and then we'll do a poll, I'll do a post with the link every single time we do a live training, not a big deal. Uh, but that's basically what this is for is you can see like different scheduled uh like if i go to this insurance agency right here i go to calendar uh, you can see the different live trainings that are scheduled and you can click it and then it you know you can provide a meeting link and all that good stuff so another good advantage right now of school.com if you plan on doing live trainings which i would highly highly recommend that you do it's another fantastic way to engage with the members of your community and eventually turn leads into clients and customers. Also a great thing for, uh, you know, if, you have, if you're building a sales team, if, if you manage a team, this is a phenomenal platform to provide training, support, uh, you know, live calls, et cetera. You know, it's really, really good stuff. You can see all your members here. You can change the about, uh, what, let me go back to the one I created here. All right, so we have the about section and, you know, you can upload different images, you know, um, also, uh, you can do paid, uh, paid memberships, which you can do uh, inside of the Go High Level community feature as well. So that's not really a, an advantage or anything, but uh, just important to know. And if we click on settings, there's a lot of different things that you can uh, you can customize. So if we go to general, obviously, we can do the group description, you know, make it public, private, et cetera, change the, uh, the colors, all that good stuff, change up, uh, change up the cover photo. All right. Uh, but uh, and, oh, and then also uh, people do have the ability to customize their own profile so that if they want to provide their, you know, social media links, their website and whatnot so as an opportunity to connect and network with other community members, you can do that. Uh, and you can do that both in uh, Go High Level Communities and School.com. 
So um, I think that's, I don't know, I think that's about it. Uh, you know, I, I really just wanted to show you guys the main differences between Go High Level Communities and School.com. They're, you know, both are fantastic. Like you really can't go wrong with either one. You just have to weigh the pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, and just determine, you know, which one uh, is best for your business. What is, what is it that you're looking to accomplish and which tool is going to get you there? Uh, for me, it's always, you know, right now it's always Go High Level because of all the awesome things uh, in addition to this community that we are able to create. So I'm, I'm definitely sticking with Go High Level, but uh, at least check it out. You know, do a two week free trial, play around with it. Go in and mess around with the community, you know, maybe put a couple of modules together in a course, you know, set uh, mess around with the calendar. And you might find that uh, this is, you know, it's simple, right? Uh, it's very, it's a very simple way to build, start building list, you know, get, get leads and, and people into your community and start engaging with that community as opposed to, you know, having to build a funnel and follow up sequences and all that stuff. While you definitely want to do that at some point. Um, it's not required. You don't have to do all that in order to start having success in your business with this type of thing. I mean, you could, you could just set this up and probably do really well. So I would say if you're looking for something a little bit more simple, uh, a little more simplified to get started with this type of thing, I would say uh, school.com might be the better route, but you know, get a free trial to both and see which one works best for you. All right. So uh, I hope that was helpful, guys. If you have any questions or you want me to do any additional tutorials on this type of stuff, just drop some comments down below. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on how you're using communities as well. I think this is a really, really powerful asset to have in our business uh, uh, in the very long term, uh, uh, in the very near future and long term uh, future, whatever. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys are crushing it. And I will talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out. Cheers, success.